Flying changes are one of the most complicated and difficult movements to ride and teach. I've taught hundreds of horses and riders how to do the changes. Unfortunately, teaching the changes is a place where a lot of horses and riders get really, really stuck, frustrated, and sometimes, quite frankly, a little bit scared. In my brand new course, Flying Changes Made Simple, I'm gonna show you the exact system that I use to teach all of my horses and all of my my students how to do the flying changes. I know that this system works and one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make when they're teaching the flying changes is they just keep trying to do flying change after flying change and they don't go back to the basics. You have to go back to the basics and fix your canter quality, your straightness, get your horse more on the aids then go back and do a flying change again. And that is the biggest secret and the biggest thing that I'm gonna teach you in my brand new course. I'm really looking forward to working with you. Simply click the link below and get instant access to the course. Flying changes made simple, clean, correct, and on the aids in just six months. Hey guys, in this video, my husband Herman is helping my assistant Kane with her flying changes. I'm actually behind the camera filming for once. We are going to show you several exercises that you should practice before you start doing your flying changes. And then we're gonna show you a couple of flying changes. If you need help with your flying changes, be sure to check out my course, Flying Changes Made Simple. You can get more information linked below. And without further ado, let's get to the video. Hello, um, my name is Herman. Uh, I also go by Mr. Scrambled Eggs, but my favorite is Amelia's husband. Uh, we're out here today with Kane, and we're going to be working on flying changes. This is Kane. And this is Uma. All right, then we're going to go to work now. That's it. And then you make your Canada part again. Okay. Then go a little, and back a little. Go and back and walk. Thinking bend, thinking bend, with bend. Okay. Yeah. And then a pirouette to the left, walk pirouette left. Hug, that's too strong and too pokey. Come forward, shoulder and left, shoulder and left. Look at, yeah, yeah. Now forward straight again. Look at your 20 meter circle. No spur, leg, leg. Now just hug with, yes, you got it. There you go. Okay, then we're gonna go around the right leg, back to the 20 meter circle, filling, uh, uh, leg yield, leg yield, leg yield. Bring that right hind leg to your left hand and then forward onto the line of travel. And then you make your canter depart from that rhythm. Yep, that's it. Look at your line. You're going into the corner there. Good, a little forward, a little back, with bend, and then we'll make the transition to walk. Good your body, good your body. So, oh, okay. Now we'll go canter. We'll do the one loop serpentine and the simple changes at the quarter line. Scoop, 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 yeah. Changing the bend, walking forward on the line. Leg yield to the right, leg yield to the right. So that you keep her moving, get the bend, and now take her forward onto the, yes. And stick with the pattern. Good, excellent. Look around the turn, rotate your collarbone. Don't just turn your head, your right shoulder has to come back. Your shoulders have to be parallel to hers. Off the, off the left leg, off the left leg, off the left leg, yes. That's yeah, super. That, you have to be patient like that, absolutely.
Good. And here, rotate your collarbone. Your shoulders do what her shoulders are doing. There, there, you gotta twist your torso like that. So. Good, that's getting a bit, see? The repetition, now you do the flying change. Kenter, 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 count it, change the bend, and back. Perfect. Now we give her the walk break. Shoulder in feel, bend, bend. Yeah, long range. Why do you do simple changes before flying changes? But it does help the engagement. In, in long term, There's, it's a strength building exercise, but it helps the horse collect and engage and sit. Plus, when you do it that way, the horse is already thinking about coming back because it's getting ready for the walk, and then you can give it the other aid. What do you look for in canter quality before you work on the changes? Because if you don't have any jump in the canter, that the horse doesn't have enough air time to get all the legs over while he's in the air and they'll be late, and we have to have clean changes. So the quality of the canter is related to the height of their hooves because you have to have that jump. What are the aids for a flying change? It's the same aids for canter. How do you set your horse up for a flying change? Um, well, like we did there, I think a little bit of counter flexion that I can maintain the counter bend and a counter flexion and then switch my legs. So your legs are what give the cue for the flying change? Yes. What are your other advice about flying changes? Like everything, just be patient, you know, and if that exercise doesn't work, go through some exercises and find the one that makes the most sense to your horse. What should your seat do in a flying change? Well, it, it, it has, if you're going to make a change from left to right, you have to change your body from the left canter position and you've got to get yourself over into right canter. So you'll sit to the right, you'll switch your legs, your right leg, well, if you're on left leg canter, the change, you got to... Sit to the right, right leg comes to the girth, left leg goes back, and the new outside rein comes back. The new inside rein is going to lighten and give. But your seat stays connected. You shouldn't, like, come leaping out. Right, of no, you don't stand in the stirrups and move <laughs> over, but you got to shift your weight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes I try that. Well, and I, I've <laughs> stood up and done it in a two-point as well. It, you know, sometimes... Okay, are we going to do some more changes? Yeah, in the other direction now. All right, I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. If you want more videos like this, if you want more details on exercises, the prerequisites that you need for your flying changes, be sure to check out my course, Flying Changes Made Simple. There's so much great content in there. And if you're watching this in real time, if you sign up this week by Saturday, February 25th, you'll get $100 off purchase price. So don't miss out. I hope to work with you inside my course on flying changes.